Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the New England Patriots taking on the Houston Texans. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel right now so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdown predictions here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. You're coming into this game, seeing how the New England Patriots upset the Baltimore Ravens. And I told you guys last week, don't count out Bill Belichick against the Ravens. And I told you... Uh, the game was going to be a lot closer than people realized. And I told you, Bill Belichick is still the master coach of the defense on the New England Patriots. When you're looking at just how he has guys overachieving, playing well, playing out of position at different positions, but stepping up and still doing a great job, that speaks volumes on Bill Belichick's coaching. And you're looking at Lamar Jackson and you're seeing what he was not able to do. They basically forced him to throw the football. We don't care what you're talking about running the football. You have to throw to beat us. You're not going to beat us running for hundreds of yards. You're going to have to beat us throwing the football. And he made it very clear. You have to throw in tight windows. And they made Lamar Jackson look like a novice. Uh, Cam Newton did what he had to do. They pulled off a couple of trick plays in that football game. Uh, they manufactured offense the best way that they could, and they got the job done defensively. Uh, hats go off to Bill Belichick and, and everything that they're doing on defensive side of the ball. You're looking at the Texans. They were not able to muster up points to beat the Browns. They were not able to get the run game going. Deshaun Watson had a pretty bad day, and you're just looking at, hey, you know, it was just one of those things where the defense held their own for the Texans. Defense stood tall most of the day for the Texans. So, you're looking at this game and you're saying, can Bill Belichick repeat that? The answer is absolutely yes. Deshaun Watson probably is not going to have the same kind of bad day as he had against the Browns, but you're looking at New England. Can they get this second game like this in a row where they're playing extremely high defense, motors are running high for all their players, and really slowing down Deshaun Watson? I think that's going to pretty much happen. I think Bill Belichick is going to realize, okay, let me take this passing game away again. Let me see if I can make Deshaun Watson have to use his running backs. The running backs is not the strength of the Texans. And I think if you take the ball out of Deshaun's hands, it's not going to really, they don't have the kind of playmakers that are going to get a lot of yak and, and, and break you over the back with it. Um, because I think he's going to stop them before they get started. When you look at Fuller, when you look at um, just Cobb, when you look at just at uh, Cooks, if you get physical with them, you get at the line of scrimmage and attack them with your corners, I think they're not going to be, you know, too happy with that. And I don't think they're going to push back. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Brandon Cooks is a little guy. You know, Randall Cobb is a little guy. These are not big guys. So I think that you'll have the advantage of being able to being physical at the uh, point of attack at the offensive line. Jam these guys. Get them off their center. Make sure they don't get a clean release. And I think you can get some pressure on Deshaun Watson. You got to make sure you're staying um in your lane, though, you got to make sure you don't give Watson a lane to run or to scramble because he can still hurt you with his legs. Best believe it, he may not do it often, but he can run when he needs to. Um, but I'm picking the New England Patriots to win this. I think Cam's going to be big. He's going to be an X factor in this. I think he's going to have his way because, you know, J.J. White and company are there. But you got to think, can Cam get the job done? Can they have a similar type offensive game and, you know, mix it up a little bit, get the running backs involved? Get the wide receivers in some trick plays. They can do a lot of things in New England. And because there's not really one focal point, the Texans can't just focus on Cam at this point because they can switch the game plan up and take the ball out of his hands. And then what are you going to do then? So all you Texans fans, all you Patriots fans, I'm picking the Patriots to win. Get in the comments section and tell me what you think. Leave your predictions and definitely check out all of our other content for this week uh, on the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates on those scores as well. And as always, we thank you so very much. We'll see you next week.